Hello everyone and welcome to Jump Roman Tech where we specialize in HVAC with do everything DIY and originally we were here to change some thermostats for a four pipe fan coil unit but we walked into another nightmare. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jump Roman Tech. So we were originally here to change some thermostats. This is a four pipe fan coil unit. And I started noticing, man, there's water everywhere. Where's that coming from? Look at that, it's raining in here. Somewhere in there, I can see the water squirting out right over there. Problem is the space for this. Look this little, I mean, my head is up here. Gotta bend over, crawl in here. It's full of water everywhere. This is all water. I can't physically get in there. Got this beam in the way and then that duct. It's a York unit. Here's the BFD. Water, water. The only way I see to get in here is to somehow squeeze through here and I'm gonna have to crawl on top of those pipes oh man this is a freaking nightmare for real for real how am i gonna i can't get in there all right this is elbow to the top of my hand that's a that's the space i have here but then i have these pipes in the way this is not much space this is like a little seriously a crawl spot even just to walk through this there's like nothing here's the size of my leg you know squeezing through everything all right, I gotta crawl in there somehow. Find out where's that thing coming from. Somewhere in there I gotta get. I don't even know how to get in here. I'm gonna have to take this off so I can even possibly even have a passage through here. Chris, let's get an adjustable, all right? fit through here I gotta open this just to get through oh man my shirt is caught uh. Uh, I see something is that even from this unit? this is the hot water here this is that Jeez, man. Uh, how am I gonna get in there? You see it? I don't even know what this is for. Is this even for the unit? It might be tapped off in here somewhere. It's hot water. Looks like a sprinkler line. Man, there's a sprinkler line. It's my lucky day, man. I don't want to deal with this. Got a crack in the T. Get in there though. Uh, all right, this is just a tap off. We need to find the main valve. Where are those pipes going through there? I don't even think this is our unit. 
This is our pipes for the unit. Gotta find a valve, man. Wait a second. Oh man, it is our unit. Why is that? Oh no, that is our unit. The pipe behind it is the sprinkler. That's the sprinkler. The pipe behind it is the sprinkler. This is part of our unit. Oh man. Oh, that's great. All right. They're gonna lose air conditioning in a lot of places. This is our hot. Oh, they're gonna lose their heat. They're gonna lose their heat, man. So I was wondering, like, how is that hot if it's a sprinkler? Um, all right, so the pipes are feeding through here, but it taps off also somewhere there, feeding another unit. Oh man, yeah. All right, let me get out of here. Sheesh, let me get out of here. All right, so it's those main pipes is the second one. Looks like it's the second one, one of these. I mean, just to get through here is wild. It's gonna lose air conditioning to this too, heating. We're in heat season, guys. It's the main line. We'll lose air conditioning to this. Damn, this stuff is messed up. It's coming through here, these two. Where does that go? Wonder if there's any valves there. Oh man, it's crawling in here. go through there those valves no those are T's go somewhere in there all right so we got to find that main line but if you look right there it's a nipple that's leaking I don't think it's that uh, Victolic T she how rusted up that pipe is it's at the thread going into the Victolic fitting. I might be able to fix this by changing this line, that little, by changing that nipple and then changing this line going above it. Oh boy. Thing is, we gotta talk to the engineer. We gotta shut that line down. I don't know if they're gonna wanna close down the restaurant. This is for a restaurant as well inside this hotel now why couldn't it be this unit everything's nice and open you know what i mean it gets everything it's not the main line that's you see it's not this main line there's a t that comes off this line and then a pipe goes and feeds another unit but we're gonna have to shut down this main line somewhere to shut that water down to try to replace that all right guys, we got two absorption chillers that do heating and cooling. These are the hot water pumps. We got six of them. These are the starters right here. They just shut the, all these down. Engineer shut it down for us. This is our supply line for the hot water. This valve was closed and they kind of just closed all these valves as well and they're draining so let's hope this shuts this down and these valves hold this looks like something new that was replaced here so i got faith in this one so right now we're gonna be a little bit of a waiting game let's drain the system and i'm gonna have to go ahead and gather some materials two thousand years later all right guys it's been all day 
we had to run. We shut the valves and everything with the engineer and we left to go get the materials and we're gonna rebuild this all with copper. I was gonna put a male pipe adapter, a piece of copper with a new valve and then a coupling and this was gonna be solved because it looked like, you know, it's the steel that rotted out and we were able to get it out. If it's not, if it was not for the steel, to get to those Victaulic fittings and everything, I mean, that just could barely even get in there. Um, but right now they're having like a party and like we need heating right now. I can't leave it on all day. So they're literally just like, just ready to leave it like that. or just try to patch it. So I'm gonna see if I could put like a piece of rubber with some clamps. It's honestly ridiculous. And I gotta be real careful because that pipe is rotted out. If I squeeze on it too much, this the whole thing can just burst. And it's just insane that they were just willing to go that route, but that's what you want. That's what you're gonna get. Anyways, let's go ahead and see if we can do anything about that. Seriously insane. Seriously, seriously. I don't, I don't even know if this is gonna work. Might slow it down, but that's about it. But they're cool with that. All these valves are just rotted, man. This would seriously be a miracle if this even works. I mean, that definitely made it a little better. But man, is this thing a problem? Let's see if I could do a little something else. this a little <laughs> this is wild It's right at the edge down there. Tiny a little bit by hand. It's as low as it can go. Use a screwdriver before I crack this whole thing. better and then put another piece like this I don't think that's gonna do anything that's actually a lot better guys I mean it's still leaking but it's actually a lot better all right Let's see if I can get the camera in there a little bit better so you guys can see. That's pretty much what I got it down to. Which honestly is amazing, at least. I still get through the night like this until we return to really fix this. What a nightmare. Gross, man. Anyways, the floor is concrete. Unit's metal. This insulation's freaking destroyed, but... It is what it is, but look how tight everything is. And that's a beam right there. 
can't get over here the unit it's here this whole space is seriously messed up how do i get out of here you guys can just see where i'm at yeah well that's definitely a whole lot better man all right guys i guess I'm gonna leave this like this, let it be. This place is an absolute mess. But, hey, this is a little better. Yeah, so we were working in there. It's one of these main pipes that are leaking. Gotta jump over this unit to get to that one. There's another HVAC unit. Then you gotta bend down to this little thing. And there's another big unit in here. But hey, man. Picked up the new pipe, inch and a half. Got a new valve I was gonna put in. I got a no stop coupling and a male pipe adapter. And pretty much between that, I was gonna be able to rebuild it from on top of that Victaulic fitting, but it is what it is. That's what they wanna do. And yeah, also these units are controlled by EAC building automation, so the engineer can control the building and can monitor and control the air conditioning equipment through his computer here's the hardware and it's controlled through the software via computer it's a bunch of fire relays i mean there's a lot going on in this building but as far as right now i'm filthy i'm wet and i'm trying to get out of here honestly i don't even mind too much they want to leave it like that no problem it's a less of a headache for me but just look at the condition of these units Everything is just rusted. Done. No wonder whatever valves they tried to close doesn't close. Look at that. I mean, to rebuild this system, these units, you made a whole career out of that. <laughs> but hey, man, listen, we're going to wrap this one up here and hopefully they fix it. If not, one day that thing is going to explode and it's seriously going to flood the place. But until then, I guess we're going to wrap it up and we're going to leave this one at that. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.